Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Rachel Ray here. Today is Mail Haul Monday and I have a very special unboxing for you. This package comes from Mystical Diamond Art. You probably saw unboxings from other YouTubers like Mrs. Crochet and Coffee, uh, Mindy's Diamond Painting Moment, uh, and I'm sure there are a few more, but this is super special to me because back when I first heard about them from Mrs. Crochet and Coffee, um, I wanted to buy one, but they didn't ship internationally yet. So now I'm happy to say that they do. Uh, Amy from Mystical Diamond Art did send this kit to me to check out for you guys. So thank you so much, Amy, for that. I really appreciate it. It came, as you saw, in the big brown box with paper lining inside and the box is in pristine condition there, well there's a wrinkle there <laughs> but that's it okay so it's got a really nice box there i like the touch it's the first green box i've ever received let's have a look and see what i got oh, very cool all right so Inside the box, we have a sticker. Oh, I love these. That's so pretty. It's a nice decal that you can put on whatever you want. Put that to the side. And then we've got an inventory sheet. So this is called Fantasy River. This is the one that I wanted from the very beginning, you guys. I saw it and I just fell in love with the picture. So she's got the, ooh, it's a sticker? It's a sticker, you guys, look. You can peel off. Oh, that is so cool, awesome, Amy. All right, so you've got your inventory sheet there. There's 27 colors. It looks like it's round. It also looks like it has those training wheels that I don't like, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. And um, yeah, that's a really nice addition. Thank you so much. That really helps when you're trying to like kit up a painting or you know, that sort of thing. Wow, the printing on this is so clean. Holy mackerel, this is huge. Amy, hang on. I thought it was gonna be small. Oh my goodness, okay, hold on. So we've got the standard toolkit. It's got a three-placer, single-placer baggies, wax, and tray. <gasps> it's so big. Oh, you really surprised me, Amy. Thank you so much. Back when I was looking at this image, it was only available in a smaller size. <gasps> I've got asthma. <laughs> so as you can see, this image has the clear cover on it. So it is a poured glue. Whoops. Ooh, it is really sticky as well. Awesome. And I assume those little, what look like bubbles, are not bubbles no they're not bubbles can you see though can you see the tracks that's just where the air bubble on the plastic made it not an indentation it just made kind of like a shadow on the glue it's fine it's not raised up or anything I promise and it's still sticky see <laughs> so don't worry about that that happens with poured glue it's poured glue is a whole other ball game I love port glue canvases. So there's an inventory on both sides. So you've got your color list. You've got a schematic with the picture. It says it's a 60 by 45. It's got the thumbnail. And guys, the symbols are all alphanumeric. I love it. That's going to be so easy to complete. Holy moly. Okay, so they've got they've also got mystical diamond art at the top, so it's nice and personalized. It did get a little kind of bent up there, but that's okay. It's you're not you're not diamond painting up there. That'll be fine. It'll actually flatten out when you stick it. If you stick it into say uh, a portfolio, you could put it under the mattress for a few days, and that'll straighten right out. Out of experience, I know this. Um, let us measure because. Yes, it's a 60 by 45 centimeters. So let's bring it down and look. It's just shy of 60. So it's 59 and a half. Let's check this way. Yeah, 
by 45. So that's exactly 45. So they've only got a half of a centimeter under on this edge, but that's fine. That's grand. I don't even think you could fit another drill in that. So, wow, that is so neat. It's gonna look so good. Basically what we're looking at here, because it does look quite, um, because of the symbols and everything, it looks kind of pixelated, but basically it's this. It's a little canoe on the water with beautiful flowers coming off of the cherry blossom trees. And you've got some, um, like a little, a little tiny town over there. Oh, it's so beautiful. Wow. I love this. And I love the moon and the stars as well. And it's around, so I can put ABs on it as well. I have plenty of ABs in round. Oh, it's so beautiful. Thank you so much, Amy. Okay, let's go ahead and have a look at these drills. So they came packaged like this. Uh, they have the DMC number and the weight on them. Wow, they're so pretty. Okay, let's open it up. They are not in DMC order at the moment. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward and put them in order for us. Okay, perfect. So we have all 27 colors here and wow, just awesome. Look at those colors. It's going to be amazing. Let me get you down in the business so you can see better. Aren't those just gorgeous purples, blues, and greens? <gasps> Obviously that's the canoe. <laughs> but wow, let's have a look at the drill quality. They all look perfect. I don't see any knobbly bits or anything like that. Don't see any trash either. Let's look at a darker color. Maybe 823. I think that's the darkest I have in here. Perfect drills. No dimples. No, nothing on the sides. There's a little piece of flash, but that's to be expected when you have a very dark color because the computer can't actually see the trash. That's what I've heard anyway. Let's have a look at the lighter colors, my pretty colors. <gasps> 333, there's no 550 in this painting, surprisingly. They're perfect. Wow, Amy. Okay, so just based on this alone, I can say that I highly, highly recommend this store already. I haven't even done it, but the presentation, the drills come in baggies, so it's already kitted up for you. You don't have to do anything. You could put them into drill containers, um, but if you wanted to just work out of the bags, you could do that too. Uh, let's see, I'm just gonna open up one of these. Put this in here, show you. Let's see how shiny these are. Oops. Yes, these are beautiful drills. They're stunning. This is amazing quality. Highly recommend. Oh, now I want to do it. <laughs> I love it when I can see the drills and tell immediately that it's going to be a great painting. I'd like to know, though, the one thing that concerns me is that we're going to look at the drill field now. Actually, let me just put this stuff away and, and we'll talk about that. Just real quick, I wanted to show you that what I did. I just cut up that little piece of paper and I have, I've put the drills in numeric order, so DMC order, and I've gone ahead and put that 
label like this so it's easy for me to spot and pull out of my stash when I'm ready to work on it. The stickers for the chart I'm going to actually put with the canvas when I put it into storage. So I'm just going to take a paper clip and put that on here or a piece of tape or something and just stick it to the canvas so that when I'm ready to kit up, I'll have it there. Here's a closer look at the symbols and the canvas. Can you see the sparkle in the canvas? There's actual glitter on the canvas as well. And so this, I'm gonna be really, really honest um, Amy, if you're watching this, this is actually almost a deal breaker for me when I do canvases that have training wheels. If the drill doesn't cover that full circle, then it means that you're going to see that dark circle behind the drill. And it's one of, one of the things that is really difficult, um, for someone who, <laughs> you know how diamond painting attracts people who have OCD <laughs> and um, they like things to be well nothing in life is perfect but in my experience when you have a light area like this if you have a dark circle around the symbol it's possible that the circle will show up even partially behind the drill and you'll be able to see it from a distance I had a painting from Home Fun that had this problem and unfortunately Home Fun have no interest in changing their their symbols. So I will not buy buy rounds from them again, but if it's at all possible to change these to make it so that there's n not such a dark circle in the lighter areas and it's the same it's the same with the darker areas. We'll just move this down a little bit. Same with the darker areas, if you have this white circle, even though it's easier to read this way, it's possible that that white will pop out from behind that dark drill. In this case, it's 803. And 820, 823, J is 823. So that's the darkest, that's the darkest drill in this painting. I'm, I'm not going to do a test now. I don't have time to do a test now, but in if it is at all possible if i would highly recommend to do away with the circles around the symbols and do a lighter uh, more impressionistic <laughs> circle because i know that it would be really hard to to start off and you know do that kind of thing but in the long run i think it'll make the pictures look better but i won't know for sure until i put drills down on this canvas so i don't want to scare anybody because this is so beautiful. Here are more symbols here in the bottom. This is the the lake and the river. It's a river, not a lake. <laughs> okay, Rachel. So the symbols are super, super clear. Even without the camera, they are really easy to read. And so I know it won't be a problem to do this painting. So it looks like there are areas of confetti and color blocking. So we've got like all of this part and all of this part is all color blocking. You've got all of the corner up here, big areas of one solid color. And then you come down to this corner and it's very detailed. So it's a good mixture if you're looking for something that will cover both areas if you like confetti and you like color blocking. If you don't know what confetti and color blocking is, confetti is where you have a lot of different colors in one spot. Color blocking is where you have all like mostly one color in a big area. So that, oh, I forgot to mention. So the canvas quality, it's very thick canvas. It's not soft per se, it's polyester. And so it's it's heavy duty. I can feel it's heavy duty. I can tell that, I'm gonna zoom you out again. I can tell that if I just laid it here for a while, it would probably flatten on its own. And if you wanted to speed up that process, you just pull back that cover paper and set it back down again, and it'll keep those edges from curling up. 
the moon. Oh, and the stars. It's going to be so pretty. I'm definitely going to have to put white babies in there. Right? Right? Yes. And maybe some of my purple 208, because there is 208 in this painting up here in the flowers. So I might substitute the 208 oh, in the flowers. So pretty. Okay, guys. So Mystical Diamond Art. On the website right now, this is called Fantasy Forest. But I believe it's supposed to be Fantasy River, as that's what's written on the canvas. But it retails right now for $29.95. I think that's an incredible deal considering it's poured glue on a very, very thick canvas. Comes with the stickers. The, the bags are already kitted up for you. There's no counting or any of that mess. It makes it very easy to just get started right away. So if you know somebody who would be interested in this painting, please go check them out. I will have them linked in the description. If you have any comments, suggestions, queries, anything at all, please leave that down in the comment section down below. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Take care guys. Bye.